SpongeBob looking ass boy, Cheddar Cheese looking ass boy, Minion looking ass boy. I'm about to roast. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with yet again another video. So today I decided I'm gonna do a sort of a tips type of video. I can't talk. Basically, I always get the question of like, how do you find your own sense of style? Looking back on it, I can definitely say that I too have like struggled with finding my own sense of style. I've gone through so many phases in my life of just different things that I've worn. And I think we can all agree that, uh, you know, middle school is a disgusting time. Um, <laughs> Honestly, okay, first of all, can we just like look at this photo? Like, side note, like, I, I literally owned none of this stuff. Like, literally, none of this stuff that I'm wearing in this photo is mine. I literally only put it on to take the photo. And then I literally just took it off, like, a, the second we fucking took the photo. Like, what a fuck girl. Em oh my god, middle school Emily was just such a fuck girl. That's all I can say. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Just, wow, cringy as fuck. Why me? Why me? Um, also, it's not a phase, mom. Bye. But I've definitely gone through a lot of fashion phases myself, and it's definitely taken me a while to get where I am right now. Uh, I would like to think that I have a pretty good sense of style right now. I know what I like, I know what I don't like, I know where I draw inspiration from, I know what kind of vibe I'm going for. So since I get this question so much, I thought I would just make a full-on video about it. Just basically, I came up with a few tips and tricks uh, that have helped me kind of develop my own sense of style, and hopefully they'll help some you guys out um yeah so i hope you guys like this video and uh let's just get right into it so number one i would definitely have to say is update your closet if you're like me and you're like a hoarder with your clothes this is going to be kind of difficult but let me just say that this is a key step in finding your own sense of style i can't even explain how important this is okay go through your closet right now and pick out everything that you do not wear or do not like like there's no reason it should even be there if you are constantly looking at things in your closet that you don't feel confident in that you are never gonna wear that you just don't even like it's gonna give off some shitty energy clothes that don't fit you well clothes that don't look good clothes that you just don't feel fully confident in and you can't identify with like you don't even want to look at it having that kind of energy around where it's definitely not positive and helping your self-esteem is not good so definitely just get rid of that stuff cleanse it from your life go go donate it to someone i don't know go g give it away give it to your friend <laughs> i don't know just don't keep it around i'm telling you it's not helping you as a person and it's not helping your own sense of style number two i would definitely say is get inspired i talked about getting inspired in my um pizza q a if you guys watched that video i'll like leave it down below haha <laughs> self promo fuck you can get inspired from anything i personally use like instagram twitter tumblr uh, there's a lot of fashion blogs out there if you really don't know like where to start find out what you like find out what kind of style you're going for visualize how you want to look visualizing is key can i just say too like if you don't feel inspired you are not going to feel inclined to go and like change your wardrobe in any way so, you know just go do some research it's 2017 people like just use the internet <laughs> number three this kind of goes hand in hand with the last tip but find a fashion icon as although like just looking at photos of people and like random clothes and stuff is fun and it's gonna get you inspired i think finding like a set individual with like an actual style that you really really like look up to and like i think that's really gonna like change the game for you finding someone that you can turn to and be like whoa like i love how they look i love what they're doing i love how they dress it's gonna be really really helpful in the sense of like oh you are grabbing so much influence from like an actual person it's also i'm not saying like copy someone that's not what i'm saying at all like don't fucking like stalk someone on instagram and then copy the fuck out of every outfit they're wearing just you know draw inspiration from them look up to them you know stay updated with them and you know see how their style changes see how their style evolves and we're all just trying to find relation so i feel like if you can find someone that's relatable to you and that you most identify with it's gonna be a really really cool experience in finding your own sense of style so number four i would have to say is experiment with different styles this one might seem kind of like an obvious one but um it's really really important i think for you to not put yourself in a box and we are so quick to just like limit ourselves i think in the things that we wear it's really really important to just kind of like think outside the box and stay open-minded you know wear some color in your life mix up some colors some textures add some pizzazz <laughs> doing with my hands <laughs> so number five is DIYing I think this one is so important oh my god especially if you are 
um, just getting into fashion. I think this is really, really gonna help you out. DIYing things is so much fun. It is such a creative process because you are literally making something. It's like you're a fashion designer. It's great. You know, sew some stuff, paint on things. Like you can do whatever you want when it comes to DIYing fashion. And it saves you hella money too, can I just say. A lot of the things that we buy in stores for like so much is just, it's like the easiest stuff that you can just DIY at home. I would definitely recommend looking into some easy DIYs. Uh, get your mind moving, get those gears grinding, okay? <laughs> Go with the flow. And I promise you are gonna find your sense of style like so quick. And for the last tip that I have for you guys, it is self-love and self-confidence. Drops mic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is, this is needed for everything, I would definitely have to say. Just in order to be happy, like, it, it, just in life, I, I think this is just, a, you know, a needed quality. Now, it's not an overnight process. It's, you're not gonna, like, wake up super confident if you've been, like, super insecure your whole life. It's definitely something you have to work on as a person. Just take it day by day and think positive. Just really just try to be the best version of yourself. You know, stop comparing yourself to others. Stop worrying what others are thinking about you. Like, I promise you, everyone's just so in their head all the time. No one gives a fuck about what you're wearing. Look at the bigger picture at the end of the day and just be like, okay, like, no one's wearing this except for me. Like what I put on my body is my choice and it doesn't matter what other people think. Like that really just has to click with you and that has to be a set mindset that you have because if you do not have self-confidence and self-love, you are not gonna believe in yourself or anything that you really have to say or do. And that is such a shitty way to live. And not only is that gonna affect the way you know you dress and carry yourself as an individual, but it's gonna affect just like everything in your life. You're not gonna be bringing um, positive things into your life. You're not gonna be attracting the things that you want if you are so, insecure and just down on yourself. It's so important to just look at yourself in the mirror and feel like a sense of worthiness and a sense of you know that you are good enough. And you know, we are our own worst critics. It's so, it's tragic, really. <laughs> it's all in our heads and um, it's really important to just like love yourself like, and be confident in what you're wearing. But let me just say like a lot of the things that I wear are like literally like pieces of trash. But because I am so confident in them, I feel like a lot of people kind of compliment me and they'll be like oh my god like where'd you get that shirt and I'll be like uh-huh bitch this is like two dollars like from Goodwill like and it looks like shit but <laughs> I think it's because of the way I carry myself a lot of the time people are kind of like oh wow like she's confident in what she's wearing that's so cool and they're like kind of like taken back because it's like if you're not insecure in yourself that's so strange <laughs> it's really like I said something you have to work on as a person I definitely have gone through struggles where I was like not secure in myself at all I'm a person also like I have have my off days and I have days where I feel like shit but for the most part I would definitely have to say I know what I like and I'm confident in the choices that I make <laughs> not just in fashion but like in general in life like I know what I want it's important to know that you are not gonna find your own sense of style with a mindset of just negativity and constant insecurities so those were all of the tips that I came up with for finding your own sense of style so hopefully these are helpful to you guys and uh, definitely let me know in the comments if you guys have any more tips or if you guys enjoyed this video or I don't know if you guys want to say something in the comments I'm always replying to you guys that's the end of the video hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys in my next video bye hey guys welcome back to my channel so today oh I feel like I started that so strange I'm gonna restart re back this baby up <laughs> I'm colorful as fuck today. Yo, high key, I don't fuck with minions. Don't even mention a minion around me. Uh, there are just some fashion tips. Basically, they are just some tips that are kind of like helpful and So basically, I have uh, come <laughs> I can't speak. It's a person, not, oh my god, there's a bug.